Let's talk about alcohol in our hair products. Uh, this is something that's been a concern of a lot of uh, guests of mine and even other stylists. They're looking for things that don't have the word alcohol in the ingredient label. The problem with that is alcohol can mean a lot of things. When people think of alcohol in cosmetics, they think of this, isopropyl alcohol. They think of this smelly stuff that evaporates and is flammable. I have this exact 91% alcohol right here. We'll slide this guy over here. But this is not the alcohol that we normally find in cosmetics. In my first little tube here, I've got some, just some olive oil because what can be bad about olive oil? I feel so sciency. The alcohol that we find in our conditioners, this is some conditioner. Look how lovely and thick that is, is what's known as a fatty alcohol. It is not a distilled alcohol, nor is it isopropyl alcohol. So if I read the ingredients to this uh, Care Care Leave-In conditioner, first ingredient is water, second, cetyl alcohol. What is cetyl alcohol if it's not distilled alcohol or isopropyl alcohol? This is cetyl alcohol. It is little white flakes that actually come from plant fatty acids. So you can see if I pour this out, it's literally solid at room temperature. You can take it and break it. So now that I've got my oil warmed up, look what happens here. I started with a base of oil so that I wouldn't um, burn this. Cetyl alcohol typically comes from um, palm oil or coconut oil, which are very um, moisturizing oils. And that is what cetyl alcohol does. In the hair or on the skin, it forms a barrier that keeps moisture on the inside and helps moisturize the hair as well. It actually keeps the hair from drying out. I'm gonna let that finish melting. See, I didn't use a clean burning alcohol. I used the isopropyl alcohol, so it left me with a little black spot here. I feel so sciency. So now that we have this a little mixture. We need to cool it down so that you can see what this looks like at room temperature. Now that we've cooled it down a little bit, you can see this has turned into something. Let's see if I can even, oh, it's too cooled down. There it is. It's still a little bit warm. But where I started out with just plain olive oil, now I have something that's waxy and almost like balm-like. This is used in cosmetic products as an emulsifier, which keeps, the emulsion, keeps this emulsion together as a moisturizer and helps form a barrier that keeps moisture on the inside of the hair and skin. So if I just take this. So once again, this is not this. So when you're looking through cosmetic ingredients, if you want this, then you need this. It's used as a thickener and a moisturizer. It helps create the barrier that keeps moisture in. I feel so sciency. Oh, I don't know.